We've had so many stories lately, so many friends of mine, so many coworkers. Skunks, they're everywhere, man. They're everywhere. Everything's everywhere. So uh, <laughs> it's been a good year. They're, they're all hydrated this year. So. Well, you know, they're taking over, and I'll tell you something else. A team that would like to take over Genoa tonight, these mommy, panth mommy Panthers, we talked about them. Mike, they hadn't won a game in four years. They come in here tonight. Genoa's homecoming, looking to play spoiler. They're three and three on the season. They got playoff hopes on the line. Genoa looking for its first title since 2018. They're going to continue that run here tonight as we are underway. And we got a nice start here for Genoa as they swarm the football. That was number six, Retz for Maumee. He'll bring them up near the 27 yard line. That's where Maumee's gonna take over tonight. Well, this is gonna be what we wanted to see. And, you know, Maumee's got some proving to do here right now. And I mean, I mean do, you, do you test the middle right now? Do you test it with the run? Or, you know, do you go right out and say, you know, let's, they got wide outs out. They got them out. You know, it, Taking a look at this team coming into this season, Mike, you would think that Evan Karchner in his first season under the helm of this team, you know, they'd be looking to just get a few wins. But right now they're three and three and they believe, they believe sure. that they can contend in this conference and they're showing it tonight. Uh, here on offense, they'll begin the evening. We'll see. And we have movement. Not the way oh, they wanted to start again. things. Flag on the play, delay a game against the Panthers. Not what you want to do at the beginning It'll of the game. First and 15. Because out of all the places around, the the the, the clocks, they're everywhere. You know, they, they've got everything they need here, so. Well, here they go. They begin with two receivers to the left, one to the right. Shotgun snap. Rolling left. And he's got a man complete there. That's number four, Dotson. The number four, Tristan Dotson. Then Kubik's quarterback down there for Maumee. So they get up near the original line scrimmage. A little pass, so give him an extra two. So bring up second down in eight. They're bringing it this way now. So now we got two receivers to the right, one to the left. Shotgun snap. This time they're going to hand off left side. Nice gain up near the first down marker. Going to be a little short. Cody Wolf on the carry. Stop made by number 57, Don Lindenberger. Lindenberger on the stop. And that's the thing that you're going to see a lot tonight is they're going to try and test. They're going to do their best to test that middle. Well, they got third down and short here. They got two receivers to the right, one to the left, trying to draw Genoa offside. Hard count, didn't work. Now he'll look to the sideline. Ben Kubiks at quarterback. Third down. Genoa showing blitz. Kubix rolls left side. He's got a receiver complete. Oh, nice. It's going to be close. Looks like he has enough for the first down, and he does. That pass was complete out there to Donovan Mays, and that is exactly how Maumee wanted to start the ball game, Mike. Well, and, and we saw it. We saw it right there. Uh, he, he's able to move. The quarterback was able to get out of the pocket and move around, and, and some of his receivers stayed with him, and that's what really helped him on that. I mean, that was a third option right there. So now they show trips to the left, a halfback in the backfield. It's going to be a handoff, right side. Nice hard run. Cody Wolf, the ball carrier. Wolf Short on the carry. The play, stop made by number 27. Going to be a gain of about three. Brings up second down, seven. And Maumee showing no fear here early on, Mike. They got. Twins to the left, twins to the right. As Kubix looks to the sideline, got to watch the play clock here. There we got one delay game here tonight. Second and seven. Shotgun snap. Looking left, got a receiver nice. over the middle. Yes. Complete, and that'll be good for another first down. Kubix finds Tristan Dotson. First down, Panthers. Moving that ball real well and uh, doing what they need to do. Well, I think if you're if you're head coach Karshner and the Panthers, you have to strike early here tonight, Mike. You got a team in Genoa who's arguably the favorite to win the conference, one of the favorites to win the conference. 
and you're here on homecoming as we have a handoff here left side a little bit of daylight Colby Wolf up Colby near the Wolf first the down game. marker left side gonna be good enough for a third first down for the Panthers on this drive also and they're moving the ball they're they're moving the ball well they're real balanced right now so far controlling the line of scrimmage they got twins to the right a lone receiver to the left half back next to cubics and and they're taking their time too they're reading the defense they're not rushing anything cubics comes up to the line shotgun snap handoff right side Patiently waiting, but the hole closes up soon. Not going to be much of a gain, if anything. Wolf thought he might have had a seam there, but it closed up quickly. And number 53, Evan Milner. What you're going to see right now is, you know, Janoa goes into their prevent here, and it gets real ugly because they'll be able to stop things up the middle, but that should open up the uh, the wideouts here to uh, for them to pass the ball. 8 and 20 to play, first quarter, scoreless, second down and six, ball on the 32. Panthers driving. Got two receivers to the left, now one in motion. It's going to be a flip pass. Uh, Not going to be much, but he does keep the legs churning. That's Carson Gretz. Carson Gretz, the ball carrier. It's not made by number 53, Evan Milner. Evan Milner with a nice stop. So... Third down and short. Going to be third and three from the 29 to be exact. Twins to the left, lone receiver to the right. Cubix looks to the sideline to get the call. This is the thing, that I don't like this. This is, especially as you get late in the game. Well, they're doing a tremendous job of eating so, up clock right now and controlling. Sure this is a huge third down and three. Cubix takes the snap, hands it off left side. Going to be close, oh, and he, he does it. get across. Initially hit near the sticks, and he's oh, still wow. fighting for it. Cody Wolf, pure determination wow. to get that first down. The initial pop was up near the line of scrimmage, and he just kept going forward for another five. So first down, Mommy, ball on the 15-yard line. Do you know what defense on heels right now? Cubix sees the blitz coming, looks to the sideline. He's got three receivers to the right. Cody Wolf beside him. Play clock down to 10. Wolf goes to his left side now. Cubix takes a snap, fakes the handoff, throws it over the middle, complete and near the goal line, gonna be just short. Donovan Mays down to the one. Brought down to the one yard line. Going to be first in goal with 6.36 to play in the first. Mommy knocking on the door, looking to score first. Very balanced attack so far, Garrison. They they have actually played their game and have done a really, really good job of utilizing inside out. We'll see what they show here. Could be a quarterback sneak. we got a Wildcat here. Wolf's going to take the snap himself. Inside of the end zone, touchdown, Maumee. They strike first. Cody Wolf on the Wildcat. Gets it into the end zone, six zip. Panthers. Yeah, they, you know, we just heard it. They chewed up half the quarter right there. Couldn't ask for a better drive as Cody Wolf is now in to attempt the extra point. Cubics to hold. Good snap. Uh -oh. And it's a fake. Cubics rolls left. Got a receiver. And they're yeah. going to have to throw the flag there. Unfortunately, Aiden Antry got a hand on him before the football got there. Going to be a retry. Half the distance of the goal. There's a flag on the play. Yeah, you know, Mike, the way they started the game with the delay game, you would think, oh, my gosh. Yep, yep, exactly. Wake up now, right? But they're wide awake. They just marched right down the field and controlled the line of scrimmage. Lining up for the extra point again. I assume they won't try to fake this one. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, and the kick is good. With 6.08 to play in the first, Genoa gonna get its first crack on offense when we come back. Seven nothing Panthers early here on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Northern Buckeye Conference football. 
We understand how important it is to make the right decisions when it comes to selecting furniture for your home. That's why we offer so many brands and hundreds of styles and fabrics that allow you to combine elements of color, style, comfort, and price to get the furniture that is perfect for you and your family. We welcome custom orders. While you rarely can't find what you are looking for in our store, our sales associates will gladly assist you to find the right item or a new perspective on your home interior. Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because you deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244 LEAK Seagate. Nothing early, 6.08 to play in the first quarter. The Panthers march right down the field on their first possession to take an early 7-0 lead. Antry back deep to return. Cody Wolf with the kickoff. Kick going to be taken at the 15. Antry's got some space and he's up near midfield. Keeps the legs churning. There he goes. He's across midfield in the Panther territory and he's going to be shoved out of bounds up near the 40 of Mommy. Well, that's where I think Gino is going to say, hey, listen. Because, you know, you look at the big boys, and they, there's some things that they can do. And, and right there, you just you saw exactly what we were talking about. And now we get to see this very talented Genoa offense for the first time tonight. Aiden Brunkhorst, the homecoming king, out there tonight to lead his offense. You've been dying to say that. <laughs> He's got the three-headed monster behind him. Brunkhorst under center. Takes a snap. Eight entry, the ball entry on the carry. Going to be a gain of about four. Number 56. Yeah, as I was walking, I saw Brunkhorst getting announced the, the play, homecoming seven, king, six. hoping to send the fans home happy tonight. But these guys work cut out for him tonight. Entry again on the carry. Second down and five. Going to get the first down and a little bit more. And that's the thing about this Genoa offense, Mike. We've seen it week in and week out. They're going to start you off. They're going to run the ball down your throat. And then when you least expect it, they're going to dump it over the top of you like they did last week. So uh, we'll see how this mommy defense responds. But right now, the running game clicking on all cylinders. First down and 10. Genoa, Antry going to get the call oh. again. A gain of about five. Andrew, the ball carrier, short gain of the play. Stop me. As we hit five minutes to play in the first quarter, seven nothing, Mommy. They gave him four, so second down and six. Ball on the 28. Comets driving. Broncos takes the snap, hands it on left side. I think he got this it. It's going to be Alex Spencer who takes it outside Alex right side. Spencer, and he's going to be up near the first down, and they are going to stay just short. So it's going to be third and Stop less than a yard. Number 26, Jordan Hester. What kind of yards this Over offense up. is built for, though, Mike. One. You could even quarterback sneak this one if you wanted to. We'll see what they do. Front course under center. T formation behind him. And hand off up the middle. Going to be good for the first down. Eight man through the ball. Gantry on the call again. Stop was made by number 56, Jack Lake. And number Jack seven. Jack Lake on the stop for Mommy. So first and 10. Thomas driving ball on the 21. First down. Run course to under center. E formation behind him. He fakes it. He's going to keep it himself. Right, right side. There he goes. Right side. First down and more. Brunkhorst down near the 10. Brunkhorst, the ball carrier on the nice right side. play. I mean, Picks everybody thought he was area. going inside. Everybody down. thought it, it was wide open. He took a channel and he leaned it up and did a nice job. And that's exactly what makes this Comets offense so difficult to defend, Mike, because yep. not only could he have thrown it there, he kept it. Yep, yep. So here we go, first down and goal from the nine. Antry gets the carry, Maumee Panther defense ready for him this time though. Eight man through the ball carrier. Maybe one, we'll see when they mark it. Number 53, Robert Burlew. Burlew on the stop. 
Panthers. Defensively here, a stop would be huge for them because their offense is I'm clicking looking, on all cylinders. I'm looking at this side over here. Front course Air, uh, takes the handoff, at. throws it left side, wide open in the end zone. What a catch! Denver Stewart for the touchdown. And I, you know, I said it. I said everything was loaded up on the right side, and everything was tight. And I knew something good was going to happen on that side, and uh, Denver Stewart did it. Denver Stewart sneaking behind the defense. Perfect fake, perfect throw, perfect catch. Angler into attempt the PAT. Cameron Angler in for the extra point. Snap is high and it does get through. Wow. That was scary for a moment. As we approach 3.30 to play in the first, it's 7-7. We got a heck of a ball game here at homecoming at Genoa on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Northern Ohio Conference Buckeye football. Back at Genoa. Well, that was quick. Yeah, wasn't it? Back to back scores. It's 7 7 with 3.30 to play, first quarter here at Genoa. Garrison Deal alongside Mike Jamison. Kurt Tallman on the camera, bringing you the action tonight. And hey, there's been a lot of action. Both teams, one drive each, one score. We'll see how Ma Me responds now as they get the football for the second time this evening. Nice kick. Agler's kick going to be taken inside the five. Right side. And Genoa going to knock him down around the 25. And we're going to oh, have a late, a late hit, it looks like, the there. Keyshawn Mitkoff on the Logan return. We'll four. wait on the marker. Sergio Ruiz. Didn't, didn't see much of a late hit there, but our, our view was a little blocked. It looked like he might have had a knee down when he got hit again. So we're going to have a dead ball personal foul. It's going to be dead ball foul, personal foul against the Comets. The unnecessary roughness against Genoa. So that'll give Maumee another 15 yards. This is going to put them up close to midfield. They'll mark it at the 40. First and 10, 322 to play, first quarter. Panthers going to start out with trips to the left. Cody Wolf besides his quarterback, Ben Kubix. Kubix takes the snap, hands it off to Wolf. Wolf's going to take it right side. He's got a hole, and then it closes quickly. Cody Wolf, the ball kid. Genoa. by number nine, Denver Stewart. Denver Stewart, who just scored the touchdown, doing it on both sides of the ball. A lot of that happened in here in Genoa. A lot of that happened. These guys play both sides of the ball, do a really good job with that, too. Gotta love it. We got twins to the left, lone receiver to the right. Cubics looks at the sideline to get the call. Play clock at 14. They've got a little better at it. We'll see what the call is. He comes up to the line, makes, it, makes the call. Cubics takes a snap, fix the hand off the wolf. Got a man oh. wide open over the middle. Nice hit there to break up the pass. Alex Spencer for Genoa. Carson Gratz was the intended receiver, and he was open. Yeah, but that is the, that's where you're so vulnerable, and there's nothing you can do, and you're coming across, you know you're going to get clocked, and it, it, it takes some real, real, real testosterone to hold on to that ball. <laughs> so we, we got third down and seven. Cubics takes the shotgun snap. He had trips He's to the left. He's looking deep. Nothing He's got a receiver there. just out of his reach. He was looking deep for Gretz. And that's going to bring up fourth down and seven. Panthers going to be forced to punt. And, and you saw right there, uh, 
did you know a defense was right with them in stride? So I think that was just a, you know, let's check this out. Let's see if we can do it. And, uh, you know, Genoa played that real well. Yes, they did. Dotson into punt. Fourth and seven. Spencer back deep. Watch the fake. They did try a fake on the extra point attempt. Oh, they're going to get it away, and it is off the edge of his shoe. Going to go out of bounds near the 50. Going to be an eight-yard punt. You think? Eight? We'll see where they mark it. I'm giving the kids some extra yards. Man. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Garrison, you're a hell of a nice guy, man. We'll see where they mark it. It's going to be, nonetheless, first down and 10. Genoa. You know, I was a punter, too. I, oh, I feel the pain. I that gotcha. happens to all of us, it, uh, you know. Even Pat McAfee, it's probably happened to him, you know. So here comes Genoa. Trips to the right, twins to the left. Run course. Here comes the blitz. It's going to be a screen, and oh. it's going to be a good oh. one as it's complete. Jackson Magnum down the sideline. Goodbye. Touchdown, Genoa. Perfectly executed by Genoa. Brunkhorst wasted no time. All the way to the house. Agler in to attempt the extra point. Ethan Crawford. He's there right now. Escorting Jackson Magnum to the end zone for six. The kick is up, and the kick is no, no good. good this time, but Genoa responds, Mike. It's 13-7, 217 to play in the first. We got a heck of a ball game here tonight at homecoming on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio high school football. Graymont and Genoa, producers of doclamide lime and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. See, that's why football is a team sport, yeah, right? You're right, you're right. And here's the kick going to be taken at the five. He's got some space. Oh, Midcalf going to take it right side and going to get up near the 25, but there is a penalty marker down. There's two, in fact, one on each sideline. The blitz at least once. We got twins to the left, lone receiver to the right. Kubix takes a shotgun snap. He's going to roll left. Has a receiver near the sideline, and it's dropped. That was Tristan Dotson. Good coverage by Genoa. Going to bring up second down and 10. Hey, we got some people texting in. Thanks, guys and girls. We love doing these games for you. And as long as Genoa will have us, they set us next to these this Nissan character and this other. You know, I see they they they're, they're kind of hardcore over here, man. That's you know. Yeah, I like how they do it up here. They got the di the diet Pepsi for but us. But you know they what? They the took food. showers tonight. Everything's great. <laughs> it's just it's great. Did you? Uh, well, you smell good. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> As we've got Cubans pass incomplete. Estee Lauder for men. Remember Estee this. Lauder. Estee Lauder for men. I've been wearing it for 40 years. I only put it on Garrison for special occasions. Well, it's a classic, so. man. You know, yeah, it's a classic. A hundred dollars a bottle now. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's like Amber Crombie Fierce. Oh, I've never no. We've yeah. got third down here though. Twins to the right, twins to the left. Cubics. You know, we had that receiver over the middle. That could have been a huge play. Yeah. Fortunately for Genoa, overthrown. We'll see how they respond here. Third and long. Ball on the 15. Cubic takes a shotgun snap. Looking he's left. Looking. Now he's going to roll they right. Come. Pressure coming from Genoa. He's going to have to get rid of it. Great coverage by the Comet defense. Spencer back deep. You need your own field. radio show again. <laughs> well, that may be coming. Uh, I hope, I hope. Spencer going to call for fair catch at the 42, and that's where Genoa is going to be give its offensive possession up six. That's how you lost the game, because you should have won the game because of that last series. Amen. Just saying. Amen to that. The better team that night won for sure. Brunt yeah. course to Antry, left side, keeps the legs churning. That's going to be good for a first down as he crosses the sticks. And I tell you what, Mike, that's the problem. You just don't know. 
are they going to run it outside? Are they going to keep it? Are they going to throw it? Right. This is a very, very dangerous offense. Well, look at it this way. You know, there's just games where they light up on an entry and he's not able to do things, and that's where, you know, Stewart and those guys. But this is just one of them games, that little left cut, and the entry's gone, and it, no, they can't stop it. We'll see what Brunkhorst has cooked up now. It's going to be a sweep left side. Entry again, again, following the blockers. It'll be a gain of about eight as he gets up near the 25. As we approach a minute to play first quarter, Comets up 13-7, looking for more. Going to be second and short. Should I say it? Quick first quarter. Oh, man. <laughs> We're not used to that here. Yeah, this was the quickest this one. Is, well, this is a good one. This is how they're supposed to be. Well, Brunkhorst now with two backs behind him. Going to hand it off to Andre now. Up the middle. Going to be good for the first down again. And that's going to put the football at the 15. They're not, they can't find anything They just don't have a stop for him, yeah. Mommy. Defensively right now. And they're going to have to figure it out because if they want an offensive shootout tonight, I I don't think that's what they want. Well, this could change it right here. We'll see what happens here. Clock winding down. This will probably be the final play of the first quarter. Antry, left side, takes it up the middle. Going to get up Eight near the 10. The and that will bring up second down. 66, Eli Smith. As the first quarter clock ticks down at the end of one. Genoa, they were down 7 nothing. Since then, they have scored 13 unanswered, and they're looking for more. They're knocking on the door of Maumee. It's 13-7 here on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio High School football. If you're looking for fantastic Italian food, along with old world hospitality and family traditions, D'Astasio's is your place. Located in Elmore, Ohio, Coach Mike D'Astasio and his family have become a fast favorite with pizza, lasagna, and other great old world Italian dishes. Stop out today or call them at 419-862-0404. D'Astasio's, 351 Rice Street in Elmore, Ohio. Watch the sweep left side here, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Antry going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Genoa. Aiden Antry, untouched. Heck of a job up front by this offensive line in the tight ends and wideouts. Everyone's blocking out there, Mike. I think everybody, you know, I don't know what the team dinner was last night, but whatever it was, I want like a gallon of it because I want that energy. <laughs> That's some good stuff right there, and they are blocking very, very well right now. Makes our score 19-7. First play of the second quarter, only three seconds go off the clock. Andrew with five-yard dash for six. As Agler now in to attempt the extra, spo extra point. He's one for two tonight. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, and the kick is no good. Kick is no good. It looked like that one ended up in the dirt, so Spencer had to do his best to get it down, but nonetheless, Genoa has scored three unanswered. We'll see how the Panthers respond when we come back 19-7 here on the Toledo Sports Network. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank, a locally owned community bank providing a full range of banking services. At Genoa Bank, we believe a bank should do more than just conduct business. We generally care about the communities we serve and we take our hometown commitment to heart. Our biggest investment will always be in you, whether it's a personal account or business. Genoa Bank is committed to outstanding service. We want to know you by name and help you with all your banking needs. Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. It's the big game right next week. We'll be here with bells on. Looking forward to it, man. Agler kicks it off. Going to be taken by Midcalf inside the 10. He's got some good speed. He's going to bring it up across the 25 near the 30. Still going. And they're going to knock him out of bounds on the Panthers' sideline. And Mommy now, Mike, they came out on fire. Right down the field, they were up 7-0. Now with basically a full quarter to go with 11.50 to play till halftime. They're only down 12. 
Haven't been able to stop Genoa yet on offense. They, you would, and it's early, but you got to think if they don't get something in here, it's going to be a long night. Yeah, it, it definitely is. And, uh, and Mommy has to, you know, temper some stuff here. And they've got to make, they've not been able to get a first down in the last two series. Cubics with trips to the left. Going to keep the snap himself in the shotgun up the middle. Going to get met by a wall of Comets. Hey, you got to give props out to the defense because, you know, Genoa is, Genoa is just shutting things down. Yes, they are. And number 55, Brady Mufford. We'll see. Right now, Lake and Rossford, 14 all in their game. We've got that game going on right now, too. A lot of passing attack there from Lake. Lake, Lake can really throw that ball. Well, Mommy looking to do the same here. They got trips to the left. Wolf yes. going to get the carry up the middle near the first down. Nice run. Cody Wolf, the ball Cody Wolf kept the leg short, and that's the one thing you teach running backs 101, right, Mike? When you get hit, you just keep the legs turning. Sometimes a couple extra yards turn out, and that time, that's exactly what happened. You exactly. never stop running. Well, Cody's having a pretty good night so far here. And if they can find, you know, get him some holes so he can do some things, uh, that's going to work out good for him. Third down and short. Cubics looks over to the sideline. Boy, they eat a lot of clock. Believe me, I don't mind it. I don't mind. It makes my job easier when I have to edit <laughs> the games. Well, that's the reason why they got to get on the board here. There Cody he is. going to get the handoff here, Cody Wolf, and he will get the first down. For Ma Me, a sigh of relief on the Panther sideline because they needed that one. Exactly. So now they'll regroup. First down and ten. Ball on the forty. Ten fifteen to play till halftime. Nineteen seven Genoa. Cubics has a receiver to the right, two to the left. Takes a snap. He's going to roll there left. It is. And there's a screen here. And it's going to be swarmed by the Comets. Not much. Donovan Mays. Third in that group was the one who got that, you know. And uh, Denver Stewart ripped him down right away. Had, had the ingredients of a big play, but the Comets were ready for yep, it. Yep, yep, yep. So second down and five. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Cody Wolf. Besides Ben Cubics. Motion. Cubics going to hand it off. Going to go left side. This is Wolf. Didn't get it. Going to gain a few. Going to bring up a very manageable third down. Up near midfield. Ball is going to be on the 48. And number 50. So, Mike, if, if you're mom me here, you take a look at the wide side of the field there on the right side as they got two receivers over there, one to the left. Be interested to see if they it's, go that way. Got to throw it. As he looks to the sideline, Cubics Boy, he comes up to the line. Every ounce of that play clock. Every ounce. Certainly does. Third down short. Here comes the blitz. Going to fake the handoff. And he's got the receiver wide open. First nice. down and more. Nice. He might have something. Here comes here. Donovan Mays down the right sideline. Breaks the tackle. Loses the football momentarily. And he falls right on top of it. But my goodness. That was a nice play. To number 24, Donovan Mays. Very, very well orchestrated there. And Maumee looking to go hurry up here. They got trips to the left. Cody Wolf going to go right side. Ma, Ma me trying to sneak up on Genoa. They weren't having it. They were ready for it. Gain of one. That's where Genoa is going to just you know, lock it down. They'll lock it down the closer they get to the red zone here. And, and it's just going to be very tough for him to make those little wide out passes like he did. Great pass, though. It, it worked out good for him. Second down and one. Ball on the 29-yard line. Cubics looks to the sideline. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Cody Wolf, the lone setback. Keep your eye on Donovan Mays here, lined yep. up. Left side. And that's exactly what they tried to do. They tried uh, to go to Mays, but it's caught instead by Wolf. Catch. Wolf on the screen, and we have a flag down on the sideline, which indicates there's going to be an illegal man downfield. Yep, I knew it was something like that. Yep, because that was a freaky play. That was a freaky play, but it worked. But that's coming back. So that will negate the Panthers. Nice play call, an eligible player downfield. 
That's what that means. Anytime for those of you watching at home, when the ref puts the hand above his head like that, for you youngsters learning at home, you know, speaking of youngsters, Levi is obsessed with football, Mike. He's two and a half years old. He says Lions, football, football, that's all he wants to watch. I'll give you the Lions. Oh, I, man. You know, I'm, I'm good with the Lions. I love it, man. We got Lions, I don't have to play my <laughs> Miami Dolphins for a little while. There you go. We got trips. Oh, got here comes the pressure. Genoa going to take Cubans down. Wojo's heating, air conditioning, and plumbing. Quality comfort you can count on since 1967. They're a proud sponsor of Genoa High School Sports and can help you with all your heating, air conditioning, and plumbing needs. Give them a call today at 419 693 3220. Uh, Eastwood is 14 nothing over uh, Fostoria. We'll see how the Panthers respond. Cubic takes a snap. It is. Looking deep. Uh, Got a receiver, and it's just out of the reach of number 18. Cubic. Steps off. So Alex Spencer now back deep. We'll punch kit here, I'm assuming. Dotson. With a better punt this time than last time. Poison call. It goes off of a Panther, I think. So, they'll down it there. Genoa hasn't been stopped yet tonight, Mike. Everybody's bunched up. They got 77 yards to Pater. Brunkhorst takes a snap. He's going to throw it. Left side, Antry. Antry on the sweep. Mommy, Panthers ready for they this one. That time. Maybe got two. Yep, they'll give him close to two or three. Bring up second down and long. Second and seven is what they'll make it. Ball in the 26. Genoa scored on three straight possessions. Looking to take control of this one before halftime at homecoming. Brunkhorst under center. Takes a snap, takes the handoff. Oh, he's got Looking it. downfield, got a receiver, and says he's going to dump it over to Alex Spencer at the 45. Up across the 40. That was caught at the 35, up across the 40. Going to be up near the 45. So that'll bring up first down and 10 for Genoa. I like the play call there because they sucked the defense. Third receiver. Yeah, they sucked the defense yep. in with the fake, and then they had someone thinking it was going to be deep. It leaves nobody to cover right, Spencer. Right. And he had his guy out here, too, where he had a step on him. Brunkhorst could have gone either way with it. Genoa now first down and 10. Brunkhorst on the handoff. Antry, Panthers swarm him in the backfield. That'll be a, we'll see if they give him up near the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a loss of one. Not often do you say Antry on the carry loss of one. <laughs> I don't think I've said it all year. I don't think we've ever said that. So it brings up second down and long, second and 11. Football on the 42, 5.15 to play till halftime. 19-7, Panthers with the lead and they have the football. Panthers stack the box. Antry on the oh. carry again. Left side, up the middle, across midfield and across the sticks for a first down. You know, you shouldn't have said stacked. Because when you said stacked, I knew they were in trouble. Oh, yeah. Because they stacked it up, and once he got through that initial hit, gone. Another 10 yards. That's the big risk when you're playing against a backfield like this. You better hope that you're controlling those gaps. Oh, amen. Because if you're not, goodbye. But once again, another balanced attack here where it was just eating the clock up. Very methodical drive, eating the clock up, like you said. They've been throwing the football, and now Brunkhorst is going to keep it. Left side on the keeper. He's going to get across the first down marker and a little bit more along the Panther sideline before he's eventually knocked out of bounds. And that's the thing about him, Mike. We talked about it earlier. You just don't know what they're going to do. When you think they're going to pass the ball, Brunkhorst keeps it on the outside. When you think they're going to pass the ball, Brunkhorst keeps it on the right side. Like, it's and just, that was the last option right there. That was the last. He didn't want. He wanted to get rid of that ball, yeah. and and he just saw that he had such a nice open hole and uh, taking it and getting another first down out of it. Third time tonight, he's kept it and it's worked. It's first down and ten. Football now inside the thirty. Brunkhorst turns and hands it off. Wow. Going to be good for about a six-seven yard gain for Aiden Antry. 
both of these teams tonight have been able to make these substantial long runs and, and hold on to the ball and take time off the clock, and it's been great for both of them. Well, I'll tell you. Well, it's I, very, really been good for Genoa, though. <laughs> yeah. If, if I'm on me here, I know I need to get a stop before halftime. Yes. Front course now with the tee behind them. Motion. Front course going to hand it off. Entry now again. Left side. Entry's got the first down and more. Up inside the 10 yard line. Going to be first and goal. Genoa. For Comet. First down. And I tell you what, Mike, if I'm, if I'm the Comets here. This is a perfect time to fake that handoff and dump it over just like they did to Alex Spencer on the, on the last round. Oh, there you go. You got the right side of the field, wide side. You could run the exact same play that you ran on the opposite side of the field. We'll see what happens. Genoa, first down and goal. Front course under center. Motion, and it's gonna be a legal motion, so we'll back them up a little bit. 3.30 to play till halftime. Penalty on the play, procedure against the Comets. So happy to bring you these games. Genoa Bank, of course, has been with us since day one. Tass Electronics, uh, Brad Morrison over at Mommy Bay Turf and at Danny's Cafe, too. Uh, great food, and they're getting ready for a huge expansion there. So we'll be talking a lot about that. Blackberry Corners, got to get you in for pizza over there. Good stuff. Well, that and sounds fantastic. Wojo's Heating and Air Conditioning. Tom and everybody over there has been just so good to us. Here's Brunkhorst on the quarterback. He's still it going. It looked like the keeper there. And we've got a swarm and a flag down. Number 44. Very, very nice fake there. Brunkhorst was tackled. They thought he still had the football. From up here, it looked like he did. Jagger Magno on the ball carrier. Jagger Magno on the carry. We'll see what the penalty is. Could be a hold. And it looks like it is. So best case scenario here happening for Ma and me, Mike. Against the Comets. Because you had first down and goal inside the five. And just like that, two penalties. And Genoa backed up now near the 25 yard line. But it's still first down. Second and 24. Yeah, I think they forgot to change oh, yeah, the flag oh, okay. down there. No big deal. Trips to the right, twins to the left. Brunkhorst takes a snap. Here comes the pressure. He's got to roll right, and he does. Looking for a receiver. He's going to keep it himself. He's got blockers in front of him. Down inside the 10 to the goal line. Touchdown, Brunkhorst to the house. Mommy looked like they had him. And then he uses a great block along the sideline from his wideouts and takes it all the way 25 yards to the house. And just like that, it's 25-7 Genoa. Once again, blocking is just superb tonight. And uh, Genoa's just been able to take those front boys and do whatever they need to do. Now, granted, you know, Mommy has kept that secondary loaded up pretty well. They did so he doesn't have places to pass. But, you know. All he's got to do is run. Boy, and he runs it good. Genoa going to go for two, one for three tonight on extra points. Front course takes a snap, hands it off. Entry right side. Pater, two point conversion is good. Number 27 makes it 27 to seven. The Comets, just like that, up 20 at home. It's almost halftime, two and 34 to play. Maumee going to get the football when we come back here on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio High School Football. Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa has been serving the area with quality jewelry and gifts for over 19 years. Specializing in gold and silver repairs, Frank Comeyes has been a goldsmith for over 30 years. Our selection of Pulsar watches, precious moments figurines, reflections beads, seraphim classics, and quality stellar rings, all at a price you can afford. Genoa Jewelers also buys gold and silver and has the perfect gift for that someone special. Stop out today at Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa. Back at Genoa, homecoming 
in the comments putting on a show for the big crowd. I bet you were like the homecoming king or something, were you? You oh, were, man. were you? I was um, I was one of the princes. We, we oh, had something called King's Court. Okay. Um, I was not the king, but I was a prince. I would have always thought you would have been the king. <laughs> Well, that's very kind of you, Mike. <laughs> you were definitely the king. No, you still are the king. No, no, I didn't even go to homecoming. Agler with the kickoff, going to be taken by Metcalf at the 10. Timothy Marshall. He got hit pretty hard there. In fact, that was Timothy Marshall on that return. So, Maumee, with plenty of time here, the way their offense operates, they've got timeouts, they got two timeouts, they got 228 to play. Hey. You're only down three scores. Now the way tonight has gone, Mike, right. you know you, you cannot stop Genoa on offense. You came out and you showed something on that first drive. Since then, this Comet defense has swarmed the football. They've got to get something here. We'll see what they r draw up here as we're going to have a carry left side. And it's Cody Wolf. <laughs> going to be up near the first down marker, but going to be a oh, get it. yard short. Going to be second down and one. Maumee playing hurry up. They've got to get set. they got twins to the right, twins to the left. Cubic takes the shotgun snap. Here comes the pressure. Oh, boy. Got to get rid of it. Gets out of the oh. pocket. Oh, he's out of bounds. I think he went out of bounds. But you're right. Before he threw it, yeah. we'll see how the ref marks it. Oh, they say he stayed in bounds. Uh, well. And we're going to have a penalty marker. They're down 20, and they've got the football up near midfield. Twins to the right, twins to the left. Cubix takes a shotgun snap. Pressure comes again. Looking deep. Got a receiver. It's Cubix. And it's just out of the reach of Will Kubix. Well, second just time. Just two steps. Second time they've tried to do that tonight. And and both times, Will Kubix has had the defender beat. It's just yeah. throws been overthrown. Yeah. He's getting it there. Second down and 10. Ball on the 48. Same formation. Twins to the right, twins to the left. Kubix has a wide receiver in motion. Fakes it, trying to set up the screen, and he does. And it's going to be oh, taken down right away. Wow. Jagger Magnum was ready for it. Cody Wolf on the reception. Jagger Magnum. That had big play potential written all over it if Jagger wasn't there for the yep. stop. So we've got third down and nine. Clock still rolling. 125 to play in the half. Ball at midfield. Cubics, two receivers to the left, twins to the right. Cubics looking deep again. Going down the right side, got a man, and it's going to be broken up, but they are going to call pass interference on Genoa. Wow. Ooh. Wow. It looked like he had a, a hold of his Hands left up, hand. Though. Unless, unless he grabbed him before. I, I, wish be we, I wish we had a replay at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if it was holding on the defense instead of pass interference, but they're going to call pass interference on wow. the defense. He so, was turned around looking at the ball, hands up in the air, but they were touching. So here we go. Fans don't like it. Comets don't like it. One twelve to play till halftime. Here comes the, the pressure by Genoa. They have back off Cubics. Looks at the sideline for the play. He's got twins to the left. Will Kubix to the right. Kubix takes the shotgun snap. Three-step drop. Got a That's receiver open. wide open over the middle. That's Cody Wolf. Wolf now inside the 25, up to the 20. And that's going to be good for a mommy first down. And the Panthers are going to use one of their remaining two timeouts with a minute five to go to talk things over. Minute five until halftime. Panthers driving, Mike. They're down 20. They need a score here on the Toledo Sports Network. Mommy Bay Turf Center a leader in synthetic sports surfaces, as well as natural field construction, maintenance, and renovation. Mommy Bay Turf is part of Turf Nation, the most trusted source in the synthetic turf industry. 
including creating the surface for the biggest game in pro football, from professional, college, and high school sports to recreation and commercial projects. Check them out at mommybayturfcenter.com and see our large collection of finished projects and services. Mommy Bay Turf Center, we build better. Second quarter, 105 to Plato halftime. It's 27-7. Comments all over the Panthers, but the Panthers are driving. First down and 10. Cubics looking at the end zone. Got a man wide open. Touchdown, Mommy. Number six on the reception, Carson Gretz. Out of the timeout. Couldn't have asked for a better play call if you're a Panther. Amen. Amen. That's how you run a, a timeout. And with 59 seconds to play in the half, we do have a ball game. It's 27-13. They left the comments too much time. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, you beat me to it. I was just going to say the same thing. Oh, boy. And, and you know, the comments get the football to start the second half, too. Right. So if you're mommy, you better get ready defensively because we're not going into the half. They're going to try to score. Cody Wolf in to attempt the extra point. And if Maumee is able to stop Genoa defensively, Mike, you know, they'll be down 13 at the half, but arguably the momentum will then have shifted right into their favor. Exactly. As the kick is up and the kick is good. Maybe the game in 11 years, who knows? <laughs> Cody Wolf, oh. gonna, yeah, he's going to pooch it. Near the sideline, Genoa gonna fall right on top of it at the 30. That was interesting. Lost two seconds right there. <laughs> so and, we've uh, got uh, 57 seconds. You know what happened, Mike? I know they exactly got three timeouts, right? Yeah, yeah, but you know what happened, right? You just had to say that everything was going so quickly. Oh, yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> so. Genoa with plenty of time, 57 seconds, and as Mike just mentioned, all three timeouts. Up 13. Mommy looking to take a little momentum into the half. We'll see what Genoa comes out with. They've got twins to the left and trips to the right. Front course takes a snap, and it's too high. He's going to keep it himself up the middle. Broken play turns into a good play. Going to be up near the first down marker. The football here. 49 seconds to play till halftime. First down and 10. Ball on the 41. Brunkhorst takes a snap. Rolling right. Pressure comes. Going to get hit. And it's going to be incomplete. Close to a late hit, but happened simultaneously as he let go of the football. So going to bring up second down and 10. And Maumee might Ma, get in the pressure that they need to get on Brunkhorst in this offense. Because if they don't, things are going to get out here in the second half. Right, so they're right. starting to wake up. They're starting to sense that, hey, we're in this football game. Well, you know what you haven't seen here in this series at all is Aiden, and I don't think you're going to see him. I think he's out. He's a wide out again. So here we go. We got trips to the left, twins to the right. Front course takes shotgun snap. Here comes the blitz. Going to be complete, though. Oh, God. Stewart down the sideline. Goodbye. No flags. No flags. Touchdown, Comets. We said 59 seconds was enough time. Heck, they only needed 26. Touchdown, Comets. 33-14. Play cover 59 yards. 59 yards to Pater. And you talk about momentum shift, I think it's safe to say the momentum has shifted right back to Genoa, Mike. Yeah, yeah, and and that was really a broken play. And to, to be able to, uh, to to get out of that mess right there, there were just people everywhere, and to come out of that and be able to score, that's hot. Comets will go for two. Front course under center. Takes a snap. Hands it off. Outside entry into the end zone. Two point conversion is good. His second one of the night. Going to make it 35 14. 33 seconds to play till halftime. Either sweep or vacuum. Well, if Amy's listening, then I'm going to have to go up tonight and do both those. All right. My All right. Sorry. <laughs> But you take a look at their roster, too. Not a ton of seniors, so nope. we'll see what they have in store here. Plenty of football left to go 
as the Panthers are going to have the football up near the 30. Carson Gretz on the nice return. 28 seconds to play till the half, and as we mentioned, the Comets do get the football to open the, the second half, so uh, no timeouts for the Panthers, of course, but, you know, why not go for it? Why not? Sure. Try? You've been trying the deep ball all night. You know, the law of large numbers, eventually it's going to connect. Kid's got an arm on him. No sure. doubt about that. Sure does. Ben Kubix. And guess what? He's only a sophomore. Wow. Twins to the left, twins to the right. Kubix takes the shotgun snap. Got a receiver over the middle. It's oh! picked up. Going the other way. The Comets. Denver Stewart doing it all tonight. On offense, catching TDs. On defense, picking it off. Boy, and I'll tell you what, they both caught that ball. They both caught that ball. That was a good ball, and uh, Stewart was able to just drag that away from him. 19 seconds left. Do I have to say it? I think they got enough time. Do you think they got enough time? <laughs> <laughs> no, they I definitely do. This offense is extremely, yeah. extremely dangerous. Ball on the 40. Run course out there to lead the offense. They've got two timeouts left, 19 seconds. They're up 35-14. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, they, uh, everybody's out. Hey, trips to the Empty left. Back, backfield. Twins to the right. They're looking for six. Brunkhorst takes a snap. Pressure comes. He's looking deep. Got a receiver beat. Going to be picked oh. off the other way now. And we'll see how they mark it. And it is going to be a touchback. And we do have a flag down on the Panther sideline. There is a flag on the play. Some of the fans are going bonkers, so wouldn't be surprised if it's against the Panthers. Maybe a hold. Something happened. Yeah, it looks like it's a, yep, holding on defense. Totally against the Panthers. Count for the Something weird happened with that play because it looked like he couldn't going to run it himself left side. He's looking it's for the end time. zone, but he's going to keep it himself and run out of bounds with two seconds to play till halftime. The ball carrier. Hit the wrong button there. Nice yeah, coverage downfield down by down. Maumee. All right, two seconds. All right, now I got the clock right. So they got two seconds. He ran out of bounds too, so he, they're not going to oh, start their comments. Yep, they're going to take their time out there. They got Might as well. one heave at the end zone. Ball on the 20. We'll see what they draw up here. You got the wide side of the field, right side, Mike. What do you think they're going to come out here? Obviously, you got to throw it, right? But, but – I've noticed. Now don't say that. Yeah. You can't say obviously going to throw it because you got an entry in there. I was just and he's say. got like 10 guys on him, and he still is moving forward. So that is an option with that. And you got Brunkhorst, who you could put the three receivers to the left, the other two to the right, and let him run it right up the middle. It's well, the, you saw that last play. He wanted to run. He, he yeah. wanted to run. But uh, and, and I don't know if he would have been able to get it in the end zone. But uh, early in that play, it broke up so much that he had something there. Well, they're going to kick it. They're going to go for three. And we know Cam Hagler can hit these. Oh, We've sure. seen him do it. Going to be a 37-yard attempt. Good snap, good hold. No. And the kick will be no good. All kickers have those nights, Mike. Yeah. You know, one of those It looked nights. like a high, high snap, too. But at the end of the first half, it is homecoming Comets in control of this one. They lead it 35-14 here on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio High School football. They were able to do some stuff and do some real nice things, but Genoa's just been able to shut them down. They've got that little, that, that little puff pass that they do that they've been able to make a lot of good things happen with, but... Uh, yeah, Genoa's been able to uh, manhandle him, and speaking, there he goes again. Yeah, Aiden Antry on the return gets up near the 35, and that's where Genoa's going to begin its second half possession with a 35-14 lead. 
Is this one of those times, Garrison, where, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it, you know, and it's just run, 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 and, you know, just take the air out of the ball, and then, because Aiden only threw the ball five times. His quarterback rating is 138, 136%, yeah, it's great numbers but didn't really have to do anything. Yeah, I tell you, I think they're going to come out here and try to run the football right down the Panthers' throat here, and we'll see what they do. They've got the T formation right there, and Antry does go over the century mark on that carry on the evening. Going to give him a gain of about three. Going to bring up second down, but no, I, I really don't think you change anything. I think if you're Genoa, you, know, you want to continue to control the clock. You want to continue to control the tempo. Get yourself out of here healthy. Yeah. And get yourself ready for the upcoming weeks. And and this, I told you about this when I talked to you earlier this week. I said this could be a trap game because Maumee very much improved. Three wins sure. on the season, three and three coming in here tonight. And, you know, you never want to overlook a team like this, especially one that's, you know, as confident as they were coming in. As Antry gets the carry here on second down, up near the first down marker, he's going to get it hey, as he goes down that. right at the sticks. But, you know, we've talked about it, Maumee. Uh, definitely an up-and-coming team, you know, in the Northern, Northern Buckeye Gary Conference. It's going to be uh, fun to watch them over the years. And heck, there's a lot of football left to be played this season. There's a lot of football left to be played tonight. We don't know what's going to transpire here in the second half. Well, the one thing that Aiden has been able to do all night and where he's gotten a majority of his yards are from the cutback. You know, because they get him and they, it's like they think they get him, and he is just able to just make so much stuff happen that way. Yeah. Oh, they got him going to go down. Broken play, it looked like. It looked like Brunkhorst wanted to go to the left on the rollout, but there was a defender there, and Wolf was in the backfield in his face. It's going to be a big loss of about 12. Going to bring up second down and long. And that's the one thing, if you're mom me, Mike, that you wanted to see your sure. defense start the second half. It's like, hey, we don't want you to march down the field on us. We're going to come out here, let you know we're here as they got trips to the right, twins to the left, run course alone, in the shotgun, takes a snap. Here comes the pressure. He's looking deep over the middle, and it's going to be complete Spencer across midfield looking wow. for more. He's got the first down up to the 40. Wow. Alex Spencer, the junior, turning on the Jets across midfield. And that's a backbreaker if you're Maumee. And, and that's another, th you know, they're a young team, Mike. Right. Maumee's young, and these are the type of things that happen to young teams. You got a big-time play, and then you back them up. It's 20 in a mile, and then you give it up. Well, they're, they're loading up the corners, so you can't do anything in the corners. It's leaving that middle wide open, wide open. And Brunker, he'll have a field day with that. Comets in Panther territory on the 40. Antry's got it left side. He's got the first down and more, looking for six. Makes a man miss, into the end zone, touchdown, Comets. Aiden Antry to the house, makes it 41-14. 9.28 to play in the third. What do you say? I mean, right there is, you know, they're leaving that area open, and Antry just has a way. When, it's like he doesn't even turn the afterburners on until, like, ten people hit him. Once that tenth person hit him, then, it, okay, I'm going to have to crank. And that's exactly what he did. So now, Agler into attempt, the extra point. Good snap. Good hold, kick is up, and the kick is good. It all goes well when all three work. Good snap, good hold, good kick, makes the score. Comets 42, Maumee 14, 9.28 to go. We're just underway here in the second half. Panthers are going to get the football when we come back. Blackberry Corner on the corner of 579 and Elliston Road is a proud sponsor of Genoa Football and has the best burgers, chicken, and pizza. You know the pizza. Everyone knows the pizza. Blackberry Corner also has charbroiled pork ribs and Jim's famous chicken dinners. Whether it's appetizers, pizza, or a full dinner, the great folks at Blackberry Corner can help fill you up and save you money. Stop out to Blackberry Corners on the corner of State Route 579 and Elliston Road for a meal or just a snack. Number six, Carson Gretz, and number eight, Keyshawn Midcast. 42-14. 
Third quarter, 9.28 to play. Comets all over the Panthers. We'll see how Mommy responds. Homecoming here at Genoa. Aguirre set to kick it off. Nice kick. And it's going to be taken inside the 10. This is Midcalf. Uh -oh. Taking it up the middle. He's got a crease and he's keeping the legs pumping. Going to get up across the 35. So a nice return for the Panthers as they bring their offense out. Well, what you got to do here is this, especially, especially this series, if you're mommy right now, at, at least do what you did in the first couple of series where you held the ball. You held the ball for, what, six minutes in that first series. And, and at least be able to, you know, get your bearings back together here so you know what you're doing. Panthers bring their offense out. They got trips to the left. Wolf, the lone setback. Besides the sophomore quarterback, Ben Kubix. Kubix hands it off there to Wolf. Go. There Wolf you go. With a nice run up near the first down marker, Cody Wolf. Cody Wolf, excuse me. He's having a nice night. He sure is, man. Cody Wolf, a junior, so he'll be back again next year as well. He had 70 yards in the first half on 13 attempts. Thank you very much, Larry Nissen, for the stats tonight. We've got two receivers to the left, one to the right. Or his brother, Gary. Uh -huh. Or his brother, Gary. Oh, okay. That stopped. They got the first down. So first and 10, Ma Me. G. I don't he know. don't care. I don't know my he alphabet. Just don't, just don't, he don't care, just as long as you don't call him late to dinner. Yeah, don't you guys know I'm from Michigan? I don't know my alphabet, man. <laughs> <laughs> These Ohio people like to like harass Notre me down Dame. I thought you liked Notre Dame. Well, I do, but, you know, being a Michigan guy, you got to you gotta get oh, a Oh, look at bit. this. As Kubik's pass is complete. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Over the middle. Carson Gretz all the way Got to it. the house for six. That's how you respond if you're a young teen. Wow. Like that. Got a feeling we're going to be seeing that again next year. The junior Carson Gretz on the touchdown reception from sophomore Ben Kubix. Boy, they ran that play to perfection, and they did exactly what they were doing. And, and when he got that ball, he said, there is no way I'm not going to get in the end zone. There's no way. And the Panthers not going away quietly tonight. Cody Wolf in for the extra point. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up, and the kick is good. With 8.09 to play in the third, it's the Comets 42 and the Panthers 21. A lot of football left to play here on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio High School football. We understand how important it is to make the right decisions when it comes to selecting furniture for your home. That's why we offer so many brands and hundreds of styles and fabrics that allow you to combine elements of color, style, comfort, and price to get the furniture that is perfect for you and your family. We welcome custom orders. While you rarely can't find what you are looking for in our store, our sales associates will gladly assist you to find the right item or a new perspective on your home interior. Back at Genoa. 8.09 to play, third quarter. Still over 20 minutes of football left in this one, folks. 42-21. Mommy answers the Genoa opening drive touchdown. I might wind up having to work editing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be close, huh? Yeah. Cody Wolf to kick it off, and he does. Antry going to take it at the 10. Aiden, right side, sees some daylight. There he goes. He's going to get down to Aiden about Antry the 40-yard line. They'll mark him at the 38. And that's where Genoa is going to take over. Well, at this point, we'd like to see defense defense on one side, right? right. Uh, you know, we haven't seen Genoa punt one time tonight, nope, Mike. Nope. 
They every every time they've had the ball, they've scored tonight. So we'll see if this mommy defense can step up here and keep the momentum in their direction following that big time touchdown oh, that's through the air. Oh, that's huge though. Carson Gretz on the reception from Ben Kubix. Antry gonna get it right side. Eight man for the ball carrier. Gonna be about a gain of four. Yeah, if you're Genoa though, Mike, that's exactly what you want to do. Keep the clock rolling, you're up three scores, you're at home. Right. It's homecoming, a lot of football left to play this season. And you gotta get props out to Coach Fisher with these. He has some of the neatest clothes now. I mean, look at those, those, it's like, wow. Oh, they're styling down they're there. They're styling down there. He's looking good. Yeah. Got to get you one of those. Bronkhorse takes a snap. Oh. Going to hand it off to Antry. Surprise, surprise. Going to get up near the first down marker, and he I will have it. enough. Yeah, he got it. That guy is a machine. And they caught him in the backfield. Just for the record, they caught him in the backfield. And he carried everybody that far. He got however many yards. Was it 10 yards? You know, as powerful and as good of a back as he is, got to give the, the credit to this big offensive sure. line controlling the line of scrimmage tonight. Football, in my opinion, always won in the trenches, right, Mike? And if you can control up front, well, you're going to win a lot more than you lose. Well, Aiden's got that ability, though, once they, once they get him stopped and he just goes to the other side. Bronkhorst keeps this one himself near the Panthers' sideline. Going to stretch for the extra yard. I don't know if he got that. We'll see where they mark him. A second and five. Gain of five on the play. Second down and five. He did go out of bounds, so the clock will stop. 6.44 to go in the third. Two receivers to the left. Two backs behind Brunkhorst. Brunkhorst takes the snap. Hands it off, Antry. Antry makes a move and goes left to right across the first down marker. Going to be another first down Genoa. Marshall brought him down for Maumee. He's going to wind up with 200 tonight. He's just running the ball so well. And he's getting, you know, he's averaging five, six, seven yards every carry. He's at 175. He's at 171 right now. <laughs> wow. 171 yards rushing tonight. Aiden wow. Antry. Wow. And we've got plenty of football left to play. Brunt course under center. Takes a snap. Guess who? It's Antry again. Hit initially. Keeps the legs going and bounces forward for another two. Total on the play. They'll give him four. Going to bring up second down on the 31 yard line. You know when I used to play flag football, I'd have that many yards. Oh yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah. I stuffed the flags in my pants so nobody could get them anyways. <laughs> you got footage of this? No. <laughs> well, that's what the people want to see. We right? actually used to, we were at ESPN, we used to have a flag football league there that was terrible. It was horrible. It was so mean. I would have loved to play that. Brunkhorst hands it off, oh, football. football on the ground. And we've got a flag down. Oh, I don't know if that's a flag or just a mark, that marker that they throw down. Jagger Magnum on the carry. That ball's going back to uh, Maumee. Loses the football and Maumee jumps on top of it. So 525 to play in the third, a lot of football, Mike. That was 44 that carried that? Yep. Okay. Jagger Magnum wasn't quite able to see who knocked the ball loose, but it was recovered, of course, by the Panthers. And now Maumee comes out, twins to the right. Cubix takes the snap. It's a reverse. Here it comes left side. This is Midcalf. Oh! Across midfield, turns on the Jets down the right sideline of the Panthers. And Keyshawn Midcalf. And we have a Comet down on the field. 
Time up for an injury. He got clocked. I don't even know who it is. We're gonna we're gonna stay. Step. No, we'll stay. Yeah, I didn't even see it, but but it was on the reverse, so those are those are tough ones, Mike, because yeah, you get blindsided. Exactly. As the comments are gonna <clears throat> take a knee for their you teammate. 50-50 tickets tonight. Get them out, get them ready. And I'm not sure. Winning number here shortly. We'll momentarily find out who the injured player is. Hopefully nothing too serious. The number is 696 Yeah, we can't even tell who it is. 696 yeah. 817 If you have the winning ticket. Oh, there he goes. Take it to the booster barn to collect your winnings. Oh, it's Magnum. And it is Jagger Magnum. Probably just got the wind knocked out of him. Been there. And those blindside hits. You those never tough, know. Man. Yeah. It was a, it was a great play call. As the young man is okay, walking off under his own power. That's always a great thing to see. You always like to see them walking off. He is holding his left shoulder though. Not not something that Genoa wants to see, but hopefully he's okay. Going to be first down and 10. Maumee inside Comet territory. Football on the 35 yard line. So twins to the left. Cody Wolf, the lone setback. Cubics takes a snap. Fakes the hand up. Now he rolls left. He's got a man in the flats. That's Midcalf. Oh. There's a big hit there by the Comets. 61. Carson Grauman. With the big hit. He bulldogged him. He bulldogged him. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be a gain on the play. A five, gonna bring up second down. Gonna eat gravel and rocks tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he was mad. And we are gonna have a timeout here. I believe, I think they thought, yeah. So they thought one of the Mommy players wasn't going to be able to get up. It's Keyshawn Midcalf, the one who had the reception there. It looked like he got the wind knocked out of him. He's going to have to jog off for a play. We haven't had any injuries, knock on wood, uh, throughout the game. Little stuff, but nothing big. So hopefully these boys can stay healthy on both sides of the trenches here. Yep. We don't have any trenches at Genoa, though. It's probably the best grass field in the area. Here's a handoff here. This is Coley Wolf who's going to take it right side. He's got some space. Not much. Genoa going to close him off oh, there. Got it. But he is going to have just enough for the first down. So, Mommy knocking on the door, Mike. 3.43 to play, third quarter. It's 42-21. Just a three-score game. Well, they just, they, you know, Mommy's balancing their attack a little bit more than they did in the first half. Kiwi's hands it off, Wolf. Yeah, exactly. Being able to, uh, you know, move the ball the five yards with the run, five, six yards with the run, and then, you know, the little slant passes that they're doing, they're working. They're working. Yep, they're, that's what halftime is all about, right, Mike? Finding finding the opportunities, making the adjustments. Now they got trips to the left. Cubits looks at the sideline. And this kid's a sophomore, right? Yes, he is. Wow. Props out, man. Cubis takes the snap, fakes the handoff, throws it over the middle, oh. big hit! Football! Over the middle, knocked away. But Alex Spencer with a huge hit there. Number 11, Alex On Donovan Mays, the intended receiver. He didn't actually even hit him. I mean, he was just standing there. And he was such a brick that he just didn't move. Cubic takes a snap, throws it over the middle, nearly caught for six. That was Will Cubics. 
Okay, what got you here was this run, these five and six yard runs, and then these little split passes out and jet passing and things like that. That's what got you here. And now they're trying to, they're trying their best to uh, run it up the middle. And but you know, folks are starting to get a little loud now. Yeah, well, we got fourth down here. Twins to the left, twins to the right. And we're going to get a timeout, Mommy. They want to talk this one over because this is a big play. Fourth and six on the 20. 2.51 to play in the third quarter. We'll be back here on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio High School football. Fourth down and six. We're back here at Genoa. Football on the 20 yard line for Maumee out of the timeout. Big play needed by Maumee. Cubix looks to the sideline. They can't, they can't get him off sides. Still isn't going to be enough. Got one receiver to the right, two to the left. Cubix takes a snap. He's going to roll left. Going to set his feet right at the sticks. First down and more. Maumee inside the 10. First down and goal. Panthers. Tristan Dotson. Tristan Dotson on the reception. Maumee not done yet, Mike. That ball should have been. I thought for sure that was intercepted. I mean, it, the, the, uh, the, the defensive uh, secondary, he was right there. Wow. Give him props. So now first and goal, two receivers to the right. Oh, here he goes. Hand off, Cody Wolf. That's it. In the end zone for six. He dives across, and Ma Me makes it a 42-27 game now with 2.19 wow. to play in the third. Cody Wolf with the Panther touchdown wow. run. We talked about it in the pregame. We talked about it earlier. Young upcoming team, the Maumee Panthers, not going away at homecoming at Genoa. Great play calling here by Maumee and, uh, and being able to move the ball as quickly as they did. Good snap, good hold, kick is up. And Cody Wolf's good. kick is good. Two score game, plenty of football to play. The Panthers with a little bit of momentum in their direction. Genoa going to get the football, though, when we come back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank, a locally owned community bank providing a full range of banking services. At Genoa Bank, we believe a bank should do more than just conduct business. We generally care about the communities we serve and we take our hometown commitment to heart. Our biggest investment will always be in you, whether it's a personal account or business. Genoa Bank is committed to outstanding service. We want to know you by name and help you with all your banking needs. Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Back deep to receive the kick for the Comets. This is number 24, Ryan Routson. And number 26. 219 to play, third quarter. Garrison Deal alongside Mike Jameson. Kurt Tallman on the camera tonight at Genoa. And we'll see what Genoa has in store on offense and how they respond to Maumee's comeback here. The crowd has gone quiet, Mike. Well, you just have to utilize what you've got and make sure. Well, Antry trying to respond here. He's got a good kickoff. He has a burst of speed up near midfield, and we've got a flag that flies in at the end of this one. We'll see what that call is, but great field position as it stands right now for Genoa. Stop was made by number 10, Cody Wolf. 
and it is going to be a hold against Genoa. So that will negate a big time return. Be from the spot of the foul. It would be first down and 10 Comets inside the 30. No correction, they'll mark it at the 32. So first down, Genoa. We're on course with some work to do still. Yeah, now they want to really dictate what's happening with the clock. T formation behind them. Here's the handoff to Entry. Mommy defense ready. Aiden Entry, the ball carrier. Stop made by number 52, Josiah Millen. Josiah Millen on the stop there. Has Genoa been in more than two or three third down situations? I mean, they really haven't been in very many third down situations all night. No, second down and long. It's going to be second down and eight. Ball on the 34. One for one. Yep. So they've been in, second down's been good to them all game. Brown course takes a snap. Keeps it himself this time. Panthers ready for the QB keeper. He gets away momentarily. He's going to be taken down along the Comet sideline. And here comes that third down that's been rare tonight for the Comets, Mike. Yeah, third and a couple. Yep, looks like about third and one. Third and two. Third and two. This is a huge play in the game for both sides. 110 to play in the third, 42-28. Don't mind my clock, I'm off now. I hit the button wrong, so until I get a chance to fix it. Wrong course gives it to Aiden Antry. Gonna be close, and he does get across with the forward motion. Aiden Antry, the ball To the 45, Aiden first down, you know. First down. Stop it, made by number 56. 50 seconds to play in the third. First and 10, 42-28. Gonna be a fun fourth quarter, Mike. Uh-huh. I the think you're right. The way things went here in the third. If that's any indication. <laughs> I hit the button. It's a good thing I got my popcorn ready. They make yeah. the biggest bags of popcorn here, That's man. good. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Run course, under center, first down and 10. He tosses it to the back. This is entry. Oh, that looks like a be face a mask, and oh, there's going to have to be a flag. That's going to tack on another 15. That's not the way you want to end the quarter if you're Maumee, but if you're Genoa, you're going to take it. Wow, they ripped his jersey off. They pulled his helmet off. Wow. Well, if that's how you got to stop him, right? We'll take the extra 15 yards. Oh, there's another flag. Just now flew. there's one along the Maumee sideline. Let's see what this is. I don't know really what the what they could be arguing. He definitely grabbed his face yeah, mask. That was... well, they're going to run clock then. And That's this will take us it. to the end of the third quarter. We'll get the other penalty when we come back. And at the end of the third quarter, it is Genoa 42, Maumee 28. Hey, buckle up. We got a good fourth quarter coming at you here on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio High School football. Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide lime and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. Danny's Cafe Rossford is open and ready to make your holiday special with great drinks, food, friends, and watch all of your favorite sports on our 17 big screen TVs. Some of the best entertainment in the area. Great food and all your favorite beers. Danny's Cafe in historic Rossford on Main Street. Stop by and say hi to the friendly people at Danny's Cafe in Rossford. 
Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide lime and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. Can they get up across the 35? Made by number 56, Jack Lee. Gonna bring up second down and four. So gain of six on that one. Entry approaching 200 yards this evening on the ground, rushing. Twins to the right. Front course under center. Takes a snap, here's the handoff. And it is gonna be right near the marker. We'll see, it's, it looks like it might be just short. We'll see how they mark it. And it is gonna be third down and short. Less than a yard for the Comets. Tell you what, props out to Mommy's defense right now. They've been playing well. Absolutely, the second half they've come alive. Wouldn't be a bad idea here if the Comets even took a shot, because you know you can go for it again, and they're going to QB sneak it. Bronkhorst gets it, and a few more. Great play call there. Tall quarterback going forward for the first down. So now, you know, Mike, if you're Genoa, you milk this clock here as much as you can with a short field. Certainly. And if you can punch one in, it's going to be very difficult for Maumee. And on the flip side, if Maumee's able to stop him here, well, they, they, they've got a heck of a chance. First down and 10. Ball now just inside the 30. One receiver to the right. Run course under center. Here's motion. Hands it off. Entry. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they did a similar play like that six, seven times here on this drive, Mike. Well, I think what you're going to see now is let's use the clock. Let's use the clock as much as we possibly can. Because Mike doesn't want to, Mike wants a game that he doesn't have to edit that much. That's why they're going to do it, see. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the Comet, second down, one receiver to the right, three backs behind Brunkhorst. Brunkhorst fakes the sweep, hands it off inside Antry. Antry will be up near the first down. Stop by number 56, Jack Lake. We're looking at about, oh, they gave it to him. And he will get it. So first down and 10, ball in the 18, we're inside 10 minutes. First down. We got 9.15 to play in the ball game. Comments up, two scores and looking for more. Front course. Oh, they are gonna get somebody out. To call the play. One receiver to the right. That's oh. a legal motion, they're gonna have to call that. That's what's known as the oops play. So legal procedure will back up Genoa. Going to be first and 15, football on the 23. Clock running inside nine minutes. We're at 8.50 to play. First and 15, ball on the 23. Run course under center. T formation behind him. Here's motion. Front course hands it off. Delayed handoff. Entry. Rather Spencer. That was Alex Spencer on the call there. Gain of a couple. We'll keep the clock moving. As you just said, Mike, the clock is Genoa's friend right now. The clock is mommy's enemy is. Hit 8.05. And ticking. Well, we got a lot of people that are just saying hi. Got people in the Ozarks saying hi to us. And uh, Eric, 
Oh, Run course. Nice. nice play fake. Finds Antry along the right sideline. Not going to be enough for the first down, but it will keep the clock moving. Going to be third down and ten, and it's always nice to hear from people all over listening, Mike. And they like you. They put up with me. Oh, you're too you know, kind, man. <laughs> like a good neighbor. You're State Farm, right? No? Used to be. Used to Used be. be. Okay, sorry about that. No, that's okay. So if you need insurance, call this man. Farm Bureau Insurance in Michigan if you're across the border. There Absolutely. Thanks, Mike. Run course here. Throws it to Antry on uh -oh. the sweep. And we're going to have a fourth down. It's the first one. As a Panther is down near the Comet sideline. And Panther appears to be okay. He's going to pop right back up. Jack Lake. Looks like he's okay. He will head off to the sideline, though, to be evaluated. So here we go now. Fourth down, Genoa. Hmm. Thought the clock would start. There it goes. All right. Look at that fog coming in. Yeah, I see that. Pretty you know wild. what? Wild. I'm going to say this ball game on the line right now. If Genoa gets this first down, going to be real tough for Maw Me. Brunkhorst takes the snap. Got a receiver over the middle. Oh, what he didn't a catch it. Marvelous wow. catch. Almost made. Yeah. Almost a one handed grab by Alex Spencer. Man, that would have been pretty. Wow. But 628 it, left to go. But uh -oh. it opens the door yes, for the Mommy Panthers. 648 to go. And it's going to be first down and 10. Well, I'll tell you what, Mommy's been able to move the ball the whole second and a half, and they moved it quick. And that's what they got to do right here. They've got to move it quick. Well, here we go. We told you it was going to be an exciting fourth quarter. That's exactly what we've gotten. Comets turn it over on downs. It's not a Notre Dame, Ohio State kind of excitement. I shouldn't have said that. It's so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God the Lions won last night. You know, We got Twins to the right. Lone setback. Cubic takes the quarterback snap. He's going to roll right. Got a man deep. Lefty. And he's wide open. It's caught along the mommy wow. sideline. Cubic's pass is complete to number six. Wow. Cubic completes it to Carson Gretz. You knew it was going to happen. You knew it was going to happen. He's been laying him out there all night. He's been a step off. We and talked, that was a nice pass. Talked about earlier, Mike, the law of large numbers, right? Eventually, you knew a couple of those are going to connect. Exactly. Here come the Panthers, first down and 10. Twins to the right. And Cody Wolf is going to get the carry up near the first down marker. 6.30 to play in the game. Panthers on the move. You know what I would do here if I was coaching? Oh, we got a player down. And we do have a comment down. I got to bring my binoculars next week so I can see down there because we're not able to tell who that is down there. Um, could be a cramp. Looks like he's okay. You know what I would do? This is just me. I don't know if I'm right. That's why I'm asking you. You're a coach. You know what? I would blitz the crap out of them the next two to three plays. I mean, just absolutely. Bring but, the house? Bring the house for just. I like it. You know why? Because it's a sophomore quarterback. He's still getting exactly. comfortable. Yeah. You know, it's a big time game, big time moment. I know what you're doing, Coach Mike. No, I, like I could it. be totally wrong, but that's what I would do because at this point, you know, it's, uh, well, you can't give him time because when you give him time, big plays happen. Yeah, right, right. I bring the house. Cubics with twins to the left. Has a man in motion, Cody Wolf, right beside him. Takes a snap, going to hand off to Wolf first down. Cody Wolf, the ball carrier. Stop made by number six, Luke Clement, and number 57, Don Lindenberger. You know, I'm sure 
most coaches that you talk to, Mike, and, and any players that you talk to who are true competitors, no such thing as a moral victory. But I tell you what, this young mom e team here tonight, there regardless of the outcome, they fought hard. I totally agree with you because, you know what, what we've been able to see out of this team, they're 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 a lot of fun to watch. Van Cubics fakes the handoff, throws it over the middle, picked and off. Son. Comments going back the other way. Derek Marksky might have just put an exclamation point on this one for the Comets. Well, and that's, that's the problem when you're running the passes like that, that you are, and you've got a quick secondary and doing things, and you just saw what they were able to do. And he kind of got himself into a pattern where he was throwing the ball, and, you know, Janot was able to find that pattern. And that's the inexperience that we just talked about, too. Yep. Great play call, but the problem, he read his eyes the entire way. Yep. Derek took it back the other way. They learn. So here comes Janot on offense, looking to march down the field and eat up the clock. Antry up the middle. Gain of about eight or nine. Oh, we got people in Charleston, South Carolina listening tonight. Charleston and South Thank you, thank wow. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're enjoying us. We don't get paid a lot, so. Love it, love it. Listening from Charleston, South Carolina. Let's go Comets. You haven't read any of the mean ones off yet. There's got to be a few. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, quit wearing that 40-year-old aftershave. I could smell it here. I didn't read that one. I didn't read that one. Sorry. <laughs> Second down and short. Comets, front course under center. Takes the snap, gives it to Antry. First down. Clock still ticking. Now 4.49 to play in the ball game. Comets up 14, 42-28. I think you're going to see every second of that clock used and uh, get it down to... But I think they want to score again. I think they really, they really want to push the ball and uh, do what they do best. Two timeouts for Maumee. First and 10, ball on the 34. Front course takes the snap. This time he gives it to Spencer right side. Gonna get hit right away and taken down. Stop was made by number 55. You know, we've been doing uh, Genoa football games for, gosh, probably 14 years now. And uh, uh, and we've, we've seen you know, the nutters, and uh, we, we've seen all the really good, good players. And we're making a lot of new ones this year, and they're they're playing really well. You know, somebody's got their drone out. <laughs> right between the goalposts. Second down seven. Aiden Antry, the ball carrier. Antry on the carry. Yeah, there is a drone right there in the end zone. That's pretty cool. I'm not allowed to do that, but everybody else, I guess, can. You have a drone? Oh, I've got a very nice drone. It should be here tonight, but I would have it. I would use it, but I would use it just when they do the, you know, point afters and stuff real close. But, sure. Uh, and we got 3.09 to play. It's third down and four here. Make it seven. My, my apologies. Runcourse takes a snap. It's going to go up the middle. Going to be real close to the first down. Looks like it's going to be about a yard short, Mike. Spencer, the ball carrier. Spencer on the carry, and here you go now. Oh, they're going to go. Fourth down and one. Ball game on the line for Maumee. Definitely going to go for it. 240 to play. 42-28. And if the Comets get this one, it's safe to say that's all she wrote. Genoa at homecoming tonight. Yeah, I think they're going to call a timeout here, too. Seven seconds on the uh, play clock. Yep, they're going to take it all the way down. Yeah, sm smart. And with 2.17 to play, fourth Time down and one. Ball game on the line. Mike, I'm telling you, if you're mom me down there, you got to be ready to grub. You oh, got to send the house. You got to bring everybody. 
you give up a big play here, that's fine. It doesn't matter because if they get a first down here, it's over. So I would pack that box and put them all up. There. Amen. Hey, we got a quick commercial. We'll be right back. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. Hardware store, yet so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally owned. You'll be glad to know. Gladio, Gladio Home Center. Here we go, ball game on the line. Genoa, oh, this is it too, fourth it? down and one. Front courts, quarterback sneak. I don't think he got he it. He didn't get it. He did not get it. The officials are going to mark it. First down, Maumee. Wow. 212. Wow. Not at all. I mean, that play just didn't rock from the second. The momentum was all Maumee on that one. There was no push. Like earlier, I mean, they're going to measure, but where they got that football marked, there's just no way. What an exciting finish to this one here on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of Ohio High School football, Northern Buckeye Conference. Well, here comes the measurement. Kurt Tallman zooming in for us. There's no way he got there. Well, maybe he did. Nope. And it's going to be short. About a yard short. Mommy going to take over in Comet territory. Two twelve to play. Well, I'll tell you what, and it is getting foggy. It's starting to get foggy. They were talking it. about a lot uh -huh. of fog tomorrow morning. So everyone be sure to drive safe, of course. They aim it. Yeah, we're at uh, Heather Downs Country Club for our ESPN 100.7 The Ticket Show, the sports show that sucks. It's a great name. The show doesn't <laughs> suck, but the name is great. You know, I love listening to the show. We so, have fun. We so, have fun. So here comes Mommy. They've got a chance. He's going to throw it. He's going to have to roll left. Oh, Pressure coming. He's going to have to get yep. rid of it, and he does. Wise play as the comments brought the heat. Now, and as we talked about earlier, Mike, this is the time when you want to really bring it. Sure. Because you got the young quarterback game on the line. Don't let him get comfortable. Exactly. If he's gonna if he's gonna throw it, you want him throwing it off his uh, not his smart foot. He's a lefty, so when he comes this way, that's tough for him. So here we go, second down ten. Wins to the left, lone receiver to the right. Kubik takes a snap, he's gonna roll left. Looking towards the sideline, got a man, complete. This is Tristan Dotson, makes a move and gets down the Comet sideline for a first down. Tristan Dotson, he got peppered out. He got peppered, there was a lot of pepper on that stake, let me tell you. <laughs> he, uh, wow. So it's going to be first down and 10. Clock's moving. Mommy, 150 to play in the ball game. Ball on the 21. Panthers got to go. Twins to the right. Lone receiver to the left. And Mommy's going to use one of its timeouts. Timeout, Panthers. We'll just stay here. Got everything so, in. So 42 28. Panthers got to score here and, of course, go for the extra point and then kick the onside kick. But Mike, let's just for fun look ahead here at next week. <laughs> October 6th, going to be a showdown here. Genoa, Oak Harbor, going to be a good one. I think both teams have to work really, really tough on their pass defense because, you know, Oak Harbor throws, throws the ball. And of course, Genoa didn't throw the ball much tonight, but they can throw the ball very well too. So, um, you know, there's just, there, there's a lot of fireworks in Oak Harbor's secondary and in uh, what they've got with those, uh, those kids that can catch the ball. And we might have some fireworks left here tonight. Twins oh, to the yeah. right. Cubics is gonna roll that way. Here comes the pressure, gets the ball yes. away. Had a man, but number 64 yes. on Genoa, oh, Ethan Crawford there. There he is. Yeah. Hurry him. Oh, Tristan Dobson. 
Going to bring up the bus tonight. He sure has. Going to bring up second down and 10 from the 21. Not even a bus, the Mack truck. He's been the Mack truck tonight, you know. 138 to play, second down and 10, ball on the 21. Twins to the left, twins to the right. Cubic takes his oh, snap, here comes it. the pressure. There Gonna get hit, and he gets away across the 22. He's gonna go out of bounds and lose one, but a lot of pressure coming at him there. He lost it down too. That, 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 that took a down away. Should have been a loss of two on the So it's gonna be third down and long, 133 to go. Genoa sending the house. And they're going to do it again. Well, they got the wide side of the field, right side. Play clock's moving. It's almost at 10. The problem is it's the right side of the field. That's his hard side to throw, though. So trips to the right. Cubic takes a snap. Oh. He's going to hand it off to Cody Wolf and Genoa going to stuff him. No gain on the play, maybe a yard. And here's your ball game. Fourth down in 13 on the 24. 115 to play. We have a comet down. Huh. Interesting play call. Yes? Yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't have expected that. So I, that the element of surprise, yes. But in that uh, situation, um, that should have been a throw. That should have been, yeah. Very tough, very tough. So now, you know, I've been surprised, Mike. They haven't gone back to the middle of the field. That's what was successful for them in the third quarter. Got yep. it back in this one. That so, little looper pass, my God, they, they scored a touchdown with that. So it'll be interesting to see what they draw up here. 114 to play in the game, 42-28. That was number 61 who was down for Genoa. Carson Grawman, he's okay, he's up. He's heading off the field. Here's your ball game. Wow, 28-27, the Lake Flyers on top of Rossford right now in the fourth quarter. It's a crazy conference. Twins to the left, lone receiver to the right. This Hewitt is it. takes a shotgun snap. He's gonna have, oh, it's a trick it's play. Six is gonna throw it to the end zone. Jump ball, picked off. That's Picked it. off by the Comets. We got a flag, though. We have roughing the passer, though. Hold on. Oh. Roughing the passer is going to negate the interception, and it's going to be an automatic first down for Maumee. Oh. Wow. Now, did he rough the actual quarterback or did he knock down six? I didn't even see it. Carson Gretz threw the football. So Mommy. Mommy is alive. One minute exactly to play. 42 28. And this crowd's getting its money's worth tonight on oh, homecoming. You ain't kidding. Ben Kubix, twins to the left. Cody Wolf beside him. One minute to play. First down and 10 from the 12. He's going to throw a goes. jump ball, end zone, left side. Oh. And it's, oh. Oh. and they're going to call oh. pass interference. Oh my gosh. Oh my you gotta be goodness. Kidding me. Out of bounds. There is a flag on the this is going to set up first down again. For wow. mommy. So automatic first down. Did not see that one there, Garrison. Did not see that one. That was a little bit. I uh, might have to change the lenses in my glasses on that one. Well, you know, the ball was almost not even catchable because it. it he, yeah, he floated it. He <laughs> landed out of bounds with it. So, I mean, tough call there. So now we got first down and goal from the six. 53 seconds to play. That's it. One timeout left for Maumee, three for the Comets. Here's the handoff to Cody Wolf, who's going to get stuffed, and Maumee going to have to use that final timeout. And head coach Evan Karshner and them will 
with 45 seconds to play. You know, in this situation, Mike, I get it, but you can't be running the football. You've got 45 seconds left. You have to score, and then you have to get the onside kick. Right. So if I'm Ma me here, I look at this. Hey, it's second down and goal from the five. I got three shots at the end zone. They're Amen. all going to be in the air. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, they got to score. Then they've got to they got to score and get uh, two points. Then they got to get the onside kick and score again. I am amazed at that uh, drone that's still sitting there. That thing hasn't moved. It hasn't. Unidentified flying object. Now. I mean, I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. I want to do that. So here we go. Second down in goal. Ball on the five. 45 seconds to go. Twins to the left. Cubic takes the quarterback snap. He's going to roll left. Got a receiver, and it's nearly picked off. That stops the clock, though, as it's incomplete with 42 seconds left to play. Third down and goal. Like the play call. Huh. Yeah. Looked like he got a little excited there as he underthrew it. So now they've got one receiver to the left, two to the right. Cubics. Cody Wolf beside him. Good play kick. clock's down to seven. Takes the snap. He's going to fake the handoff right. Roll left, and are they going to throw another flag there, or did the receiver just fall? Just fell. Incomplete. The intended receiver slipped. So now I think for the fourth or fifth time, ball game on the line. Amen. <laughs> Well, we had to say it a few times tonight. It's been a lot of surprises here in the second half. So 42-28, 37 seconds to play. Three yards between Ma, me, and Pater. Play clock's already down to 10, and they're in the huddle. Play clock down to five. They might have to burn their final time out. No, they don't. It's going to be a wildcat. Didn't get it. And they are not going to get it. Comet, stop them. Turnover on downs. Genoa takes over with 31 seconds to go. Mike, what do you think of the play call? Well, there was a lot of confusion there. There was a lot of confusion. And that play clock was, was going down. And I don't think that they had a timeout. They got one they left. They did have the one. They Didn't got they the call one just a couple of minutes ago? Yep, they had one they had left. One left. Okay. I thought for sure they were trying to draw them off, hurry it up, get a little closer, then call the timeout or, right. or get the penalty. Nonetheless, a great effort tonight by Ma Mee to stay in this one and come back. 42-28 as the Comets are in victory formation. One knee, and that will do, do it. it. The Comets on homecoming. Getting ready for a showdown next week. And, and we're going to have that one for you here on the Toledo Jim Sports Carter Network. Stone but tonight's Field. final, the Comets 42, Mommy 28. 42. And Mike, we can't wait to come back next week. Great game, great game, great game. And this will have this game on uh, CW 13.2 Sunday at 11 o'clock. And of course, it'll be up on. Uh, make sure you sign up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, and check out all the well, thousands of games that we have up there. Thousands of games that we have up there. There's a lot of them. And Garrison's in a lot of them. So good stuff. Wrap this one up, Garrison. All right. Well, for my partner, Mike Jameson, Kurt Tallman, the best in the business on the camera, I'm Garrison Deal signing off from Genoa. Again, tonight's final score, the Comets on homecoming. Take it away, 42-28. Showdown right back here at Genoa next week here on the Toledo Sports Network's coverage of high school football.